Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start today with the one hour time frame in the Bitcoin price because as you can see Bitcoin is still falling down from the top that we had right now at $10,200. So are we now on the way down to test the support or even potentially go down to close also the future gap that we have down here at 8500 let's see and discuss uh, what are the probabilities because i'm still not convinced that we are right now on the way down to 8500 i think we will go down to close that gap but most likely after the happening event so i think till then and especially as long as we're staying within this uh, channel here with the support right now at 9400 and the resistance up here at around 10400 we should be still on the way to the upside towards our bullish target of twelve thousand uh, dollar also as you can uh, see i'm uh, still in a short position since uh, quite some time now i'm getting every eight hours uh, some funding rates so that is okay i can keep up to uh, keep the trade open so i'm okay with that and i plan to close my short as soon as we touch here the support area and then swap it into a long position if that line it's gonna hold so that is also what we have to see in case that we're gonna come down here to the support if we have a breakthrough with volume to the downside then of course it's confirmed that we're most likely going down to 8500 but right now the signs are still very bullish that we could bounce here uh, at the support if we're gonna touch here because right now bitcoin coin in the one hour it looks like that we could be forming here a falling wedge which is a very bullish pattern and this should uh, bring us again here towards the ten thousand uh, dollar level but we have to see a breakout of this uh, resistance which is coming down here and this is right now at around nine thousand eight hundred fifty so we have to see i think there is a high chance that we go down here to test this region here at between eight thousand five hundred to nine thousand three hundred so that is also where i put my target of my short position and now we have to uh, see where we're going to because in the one hour you can also see that uh, stochastic is coming up again from oversold territory RSI is now trading below the 50 level so we are trading now on the bearish side and we didn't manage to go above it of it again so we keep getting rejected from the 50 line in the RSI if we go over here to the uh, Bollinger Band uh, you can see that we also came down here to the bottom and also the MACD seems a little bit exhausted here so of course there's a high chance that we go and test again here this $9,800 pretty soon so we have uh, to see but right now we're trading at the bottom here in the one hour so um, bounce to the upside is uh, very likely I think especially when the stochastic is uh, towards uh, to the upside but of course right now we are in neutral territory also the 20 moving average in the one hour is giving us resistance so far so you see it's here at 9800 so keep an eye if we start to trade again above the 20 moving average in the one hour so far it's giving us resistance we can head over to the four hour because here also since we had this uh, close that i mentioned yesterday below the 20 moving average in the four hour we started to trade below it and uh, this line is uh, giving us resistance now uh, so you see it's at 9850 it's coinciding perfectly with our resistance that is coming down here so keep an eye in case that we're gonna start to trade again above the 20 moving average in the four hours so as long as we're staying here and most likely here the 50 is giving us some support at 9700 we're gonna squeeze out here and then have a breakout to the downside here towards the support or again to the upside towards our resistance here at 10400 so the 50 should hold as support as it did also in the past a few times in case that this line is also going to be broken then i think it's confirmed that we're going to test here the support so keep an eye here in the four hour because also here we're trading below the 50s on the bearish side now the momentum is clearly shifted to the downside but that doesn't mean that we have to go right now to 8500 or even lower that just does mean that we are not anymore testing here the resistance right now we are we are looking for a support potentially down here for 9300 if we have a breakout to the downside here 
this uh, falling uh, wedge could be a um, bullish pattern so be careful in case that you're opening a short so i would look better for long positions right now even though you're gonna pay these uh, funding rates in case that you open a long position you see also the stochastic is oversold here in the four hours so also here it looks like that we should see a bounce pretty soon most likely if we're gonna down here to test again this nine thousand six hundred dollar area down here so let's also have a look here on the bollinger band in the four hour because also here you can see that we're coming down to the bottom area at 9600 i think there's a high chance that we maybe go down to test this uh, line and then shoot up again towards the midline of 9900 but also here you see that we are trading on the bearish side so be in the bottom area of the bollinger band uh, mcd also still shifted to the downside we still don't have a bullish cross here like we had over here so i'm waiting also for this to turn over and we can go back to the bitstamp chart and open the daily time frame because also here it's very important that you see that the 20 daily moving average is at 9380 so more or less where the support is lining up so there's a high chance that we also go down here in case of a breakdown that we have a support uh, down here 9380 so that line is what you have to uh, look for right now and also since now we are in the daily uh, time frame uh, of course the 200 daily is here at the 8850 so this line should uh, hold a support even though we could break here to the downside even if we would wick down or have a retest of this 8000 uh, to 7500 dollar region down here we should then bounce back up and close the daily again above the 200 daily in order to be still on the bullish side if we're going to have a daily close below one of these two moving averages as i think that would be the first warning signs that this uh, could be ending here this rally and we should be in again um to see prices again uh, towards 8000 maybe even lower and since we are here now in the daily we can do a small fibonacci retracement just to see in case that this was the top now so from the bottom here of 6400 and this was the top here 10200 this would give us a 0.618 fib line of 7900 dollar so in case that really this was the top and right now we are seeing a pullback to a a uh, bigger support below our support right now at 9400 i think we would be heading towards the 0.5 to the 0.618 fib line which is between 8350 and uh, 7900 dollars somewhere there and then bounce from here to the upside again towards our target of 12,000 and maybe even higher but if this was the top so far i think we're most likely going to retrace to this area down here potentially also to test the previous resistance down here which is now uh, acting as a support which is at around 7500 that doesn't mean you have to go and sell right now because uh, i think the risk is just too high to um, missing out some more gains uh, I would just dollar cost average in in case that we're going really that low here and also if you open longs starting from the support here uh, make sure that you're able to scale in your trades down to this uh, level here so don't go too over leveraged and also not with too much uh, money so always uh, use a small percentage of your portfolio so you can handle any price uh, change and here in the daily you can see that we're cooling off the stochastic uh, and also the rsi which are coming both from very overbought territory so i think that is a very bullish sign that we are cooling off right now and the price is not really dropping that much so if we come down to the 50 level here in the rsi bound successfully from this line and we can hold here the 20 daily or the 200 daily moving average this is gonna be really bullish for the next uh, leg to the upside and if we go over to the bollinger band uh, here also in the daily time frame you see that we topped out here at the top of the bollinger band and right now we are coming uh, towards the middle area like we did all over here so i think it's a high chance that we go down now to this uh, support at around 9300 to 9400 but uh, let's see things look still very bullish even though we could uh, see this pull back down to this uh, range here i think that would be the perfect opportunity to close your short or to open uh, a long position again if you're trading over on bybit here you can trade uh, Bitcoin, 
Ethereum EOS and XRP with uh, leverage up to 100x. And if you still need an account on Bybit, you can use the invitation code that you find down below in my video description with my link. You can get $90 completely for free. So you can start to trade with that money completely riskless. When you open an account, you just need the email, nothing more. Then you go here to the rewards hub and you can uh, claim here are all your bonuses so you have to put for example a deposit of 0 0.05 bitcoin or 0 0.5 bitcoin to get 50 dollars or five dollars you don't have to trade with that you just have to keep it on your exchange so you can claim this uh, free money i would do that as long as they're doing this uh, promotion and also if you need some more money you can also use the femex uh, that's another exchange yeah, also this code here you can get 72 dollars completely for free so you, you also can start to trade with that money uh, on femex completely a uh, risk less also up to 100x all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to my 10 dollar bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 100 subscribers so thank you for watching and we see us all in the next one bye